Hi all, welcome to Die.3.Tech YouTube channel. Uh, in this today's video, uh, we'll see how to make this uh, parameter build uh, using some uh, 3D printed parts. So, uh, this cart is actually from RC Adventures. So, um, I got the plans from him. So, it is from RC Adventures, it's a YouTube channel. I got it from that person. He posted in a forum, I downloaded it. So, you also can download it. I will give you a link in a description you can so these are the templates so uh, these holes you need to uh, put it on uh, this aluminum sheet then after that you need to uh, bend it like this okay so all the information is there in a PDF file you can look into that so you can get an idea uh, I'll show you how I am making so uh, so so I collected parts from a different different uh, places. So uh, this cage is from a different person. So I will leave you uh, the link of this cage. So this cage is separate, and uh, this cart related 3D prints uh, 3D prints are separate. Okay, I will give you both links so you can uh, make your own. Okay. So uh, I'm using this aluminum sheet. So I think it's around five or six mm aluminum sheet. So uh, I will make the holes uh, based on this template so you can cut it and you can place it here then you can mark it for the uh, holes you can make holes using drilling machine okay so uh, so first what I will do I will make the cage okay okay I will make the cage then uh, we can start working on the this so we can make holes on this then we can uh, bend it like this okay so i already made one uh, 3d printed uh, cart for this but i'm not able to use this one because the riser separation points are very close so uh, the wing i made means one parameter wing i made so that wing for that uh, wing span uh, this riser separation point is very close so that's the reason i'm making the new one so i'll show you my uh, wing uh, which I stitched uh, so for this wing uh, this uh, cart is not suitable because the separation point is very uh, close that's the reason I'm making a new cart okay uh, now I'll make the cage first so making the cage is very easy so like this you have to glue it So like this uh, we need to glue together uh, once it is glue so we need to place these ribs so like this okay one here one here like this six will come so all the six will come and so all these ribs will come and it will be uh, placed here in this hub okay so this is the hub for motor okay so like this. so like this so hold this uh, this whole thing will be like this okay so i will do this then i'll be back So I have attached all, all these six ribs to a uh, hub. So now I will uh, place these uh, ribs into a main circle like this. So like this. Uh, place it into 
a particular slot and just glue it so that this cage will be ready cut the template and i placed on this aluminium one uh, then i put the marks so where i supposed to uh, drill so there i put a mark so so like this so i will drill the holes on these points after that what i will do uh, i will bend this to get this shape so i'm just showing with this so i will bend it like this so finally the shape yeah, you will get it like this so now we can work on the cart so uh, this center plate so you can do it with aluminium also aluminium plate uh, if you are able to get a 6 mm thick so i have given the uh, template in link so based on the template you can bend it and you can make holes like this uh, i'm not able to get that that's why i 3d printed i will give you this file also in uh, link in description so you can download and you can print it directly or you have uh, aluminium plate you can uh, bend it based on the templates okay so um, here uh, see in this place uh, you can see uh, you can place the landing gear so uh, if you are able to get something like this okay so it should be little thick uh, again i am not able to get uh, this thick one so uh, i'm not using this that's why i designed something uh, different like this these two these two are very simple so uh, you can place one here and another one here like this uh, you can uh, add screws here so that it will hold so then here uh, you can place the wheel like, like this okay like this both sides i will add the wheel the, this is for the uh, back side and front you can see there will be two pieces like this so one will come here another one will come here in between these two uh, this wheel will come so like this like this it will come so it's actually like this okay so like this uh, we can uh, finish this uh, landing gear and wheel so i will fix these things then i'll be back So uh, this is the wheel uh, and I placed one screw here then I placed one nut below that there is a washer so that it will make the wheel move freely okay so now I will uh, place it like this then I'll be back.
now it is ready now we need to install uh, esc holder so that will come here like this so that um, esc will stay like this like that so i will screw here and from here the leads will go to the motor okay so i will do that then i'll be back so this is the esc holder now we need to work on the cage first we have to place the motor in cage uh, like this uh, but the problem is like if i place it like this uh, my motor what happened it's not you know allowing prop to spin see so maybe because of this motor size if it is a bigger one maybe it will fit so for that what i did is um, i designed this piece so that what will happen i will remove this so i will place it on top of this then again this i will mount here so i match the holes here and here so let me show you close so like this i have designed this piece so that you can mount the motor here then you can add these screws so you can attach this to the cart okay so i will mount the motor on it then uh, i will place this one here then we can attach to a cage okay this file also i'll give it in uh, 3d printed files okay uh, so now you can see here uh, i attach this cage to uh, this center plate and you can see here okay and i also added servo holder here so by adding some screws here okay so now it is almost ready uh, only thing we have to do is um, we need to place the servos like this here one and like this then here for the servo horn what we need to do uh, we need to attach that servo horn here then you can place it like this so that uh, we can get this moment okay so this part we need to attach to servo horn then place it here okay so this servos i will glue it here then i will uh, attach the servo horn to this then i will place it here okay then one more thing we need to do here is uh, we need to place this riser hanging point so this one we need to place it like this okay so here uh, where we attach the risers okay so this servo is for the brake line and this this is actually for servo hanging uh, this is actually for uh, riser hanging point so just add screws and you can place it even this also you can do it with aluminium if you have or else you can 3d print i'll give you both files so it will be like this okay so i will attach all these things then i'll be back so here it is ready so i have installed this uh, riser separation points like where you will hang the risers okay and i also added the horns so here you can see uh, control horn i attached here with the help of these screws so that i can right. so both sides i have done the only thing i have to give connections to esc to motor then it will be ready and uh, you can make this cart for all kinds of uh, uh, wings you have so only change you need to do is so this riser separation point will be different based on the your wing uh, you know uh, area so for the bigger wings uh, this should increase okay so in case if you are in case your wing is not flying well or if it is deforming either it is bigger or smaller so based on the deformation you can identify and you can increase or you can decrease the separation distance okay from one riser to another riser the distance should be 
different for this ring uh, i'm using this separation point will be around 17 centimeters so for my wing uh, anything between 14 to 18 it is fine okay so according to that you just change this separation points so that will work for most of the wings okay in case if it is not flying so it is almost ready so it is almost ready so what i need to do is i will program this so i program this one so you can see so both will go down when i say left left one will go down when i say right right one will go down so like this i have programmed so now i will attach uh, i will attach um, that wing to this risers and brake lines to this uh, arms then i will go for flying so thank you very much for watching this video and please like this video and share this video and please subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much